On behalf of Citizen Science.Asia, along with my colleagues, I'd like to say thank you and we're honored to have the opportunity to say a few words at this inaugural General Assembly for the Citizen Science Global Partnership, or CSGP. Thank you to ISA, our new Secretariat and host for today's event, for their untiring support of bringing this partnership into a new phase. It is an exciting and rewarding event to be a part of. Since the announcement of the formation for the Global Partnership at the Science Business Policy Forum of the Third United Nations Environment Assembly, Citizen Science.Asia has spent the past five years along with our sister organizations from around the world to make today's achievement a reality. Despite the setback brought on by the COVID pandemic, we have joined hands and through many hours of Zoom meetings, voluntary dedication from members of the interim board, and inclusive logistics to accommodate time zones and schedules, we're now another step closer to more effective and globally coordinated effort in citizen science-led initiatives towards the UN 2030 Agenda and Sustainable Development Goals. Citizen Science.Asia believes in everyone having the opportunity to contribute to knowledge discovery and affect positive changes in our world through citizen science. Our mission is to build grassroots connections, sustainable capacity, and tangible conversations in Asia to support this vision. Through the establishment of the CSGP, as a founding network covering the Asia citizen science community, it is our extended goal to ensure the necessary bidirectional communication between Asia and the rest of the world. As a representative and steward of a region that has a long history of practical citizen science practice and indigenous knowledge, nearly 60% of the world's population, and in the center of huge challenges relating to climate change, pollution, and loss of biodiversity, it is now more important than ever for Asia to be a crucial part of the global dialogue and be embraced for its high diversity and potential impact. We envision the CSGP to provide a well-paved avenue for continuing dialogues and sharing between the global north and south, and be a positive and influential advocate for diversity and inclusion to support the steady engagement of communities from around the world. It will also continue to bring into focus scientific literacy and solutions while providing the necessary resources and support to mobilize our population at scale. Finally, we celebrate the global partnership as a testament to the recognized value of citizen science. The partnership, the friendship, and the credibility forged here today puts the partnership in an enviable position to be the beacon amongst the sea of citizen science activities around the world. In summary, we at CitizenScience.Asia look forward to, one, an open and inclusive strategy that embraces the diversity in Asia, two, sharing of knowledge and resources that enable sustainable growth in citizen science activities, three, a credible reference for legitimacy and trust in citizen science. Thank you again to ISA, all the members of the interim board, the Citizen Science Associations, the UN Environment for Standing Behind Citizen Science, and our other founding partners, the University of Natural Resources and Life Sciences, and the University of Geneva for bringing us this far in our continuing journey. Thank you.